Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is the Perfect Painter Tool Review, where I'll teach you how to become the perfect painter. Uh, back with a simple review. We got the Milwaukee Dust Collection Bags for the wet, dry shop vac. Part number 49-90-2016. Um, comes with three of them. They're bigger than I thought they would be, to be honest. So I'm going to tell you what I like and what I don't like. I have the M12 Fuel uh, shop vac, but I believe these work with all shop vacs. Um, they come with this little plastic piece that pops on and off here um, they do work but it's a poor design and I'm gonna show you why so uh, stay tuned and we'll get right into it before I demonstrate the bags um, there is only one website that has these in stock on the whole internet it's ace hardware and I'll leave a link in the description um, there's two websites where you can order them from, but only one of them, only Ace has them in stock. Summit Racing, they have to special order them, which makes the price around $40. Um, at Ace Hardware, you can get them for about $20. So the HEPA filters alone are $20 a piece. If you didn't get the two pack over the holiday, two for $20, they are $20 a piece. So these, these bags here can save you money. In the long run um, me I do a lot of sheetrock work so mainly sheetrock dust which clogs up the HEPA filters as you know and you got to constantly shake them out so uh, that is the reason I bought these so stay tuned and I'll demonstrate this here is my little workspace in my basement so the first thing you want to do is Open up your shop back. You're going to have to take off your HEPA filter. I believe this is the same process for the M18. This is where you connect the fleece bag. And as you can see, there's nowhere for it to like snap on. It just slides over this thing. So, the first, first thing I don't like, this is offset, it's not in the center, okay, and the way they made these bags, they put the input in the center, so, when you put it on there, you can see, it's like off to the side, alright, it's like they didn't really think this design through. So anyway, you're supposed to take this plastic piece, it has three tangs on the back, and slide it over to us, and you're supposed to slide it on here, right? Take this, throw it away, because when you turn it upside down, with that on there, the thing just wants to keep coming off because of the extra weight of the plastic. That's design flaw number one. This is design flaw number two. It's offset. Okay, they do work. Don't get me wrong. So you're going to want to put this just, it's got a little rubber O-ring inside. Just slide it right over without the plastic piece on there. And you'll see, it just slides right over. And then you gotta kinda fight with it to put it onto the vacuum because it's off center. While trying not to let it fall off. completely as you can see it is so simple um, so everything that goes through the vacuum will 
go straight into that bag. Um, you have three of them. You can empty them out and reuse them. So three of these is the price of one HEPA filter. And uh, you can see my HEPA filter is dirty. I've had to clean it several times. So I'm hoping this will save me from having to buy another one, pretty much. Uh, so the next clip, we'll put it to the test and see how well it collects. If it stays on, if it falls off, how much goes into it, if anything blows out the back end, or what the case. So stay tuned. All right, I got a coconut fiber substrate. You can see it's pretty much like the consistency of sawdust. So I don't have any like sheetrock dust. But this will be the closest thing <clears throat> to it. Alright, so let's see how it works. exhaust port was on the vacuum that's a good sign so let's take this off and see what it looks like inside Here's our bag and it's all in the bag so they work pretty much like sawdust and it, it's still a whole lot left in, of room in the bag it's about right there it's full so you've seen it they work I mean it's a it's a poor design in my opinion but they do work so um, for 20 bucks if you want to save your HEPA filter not have to buy one of Another one or two, if you vacuum up a lot of sawdust or sheetrock dust or any type of dust like that, um, this will work. Like I said, I'll leave a link in the description. $20 for three of them. You can't really beat that, in my opinion. So, uh, like, comment, subscribe, put the notification bell on off, and you'll see me next. I'll see you, you see me next video, something like that.